This video is part of our free course on how to create an e-commerce platform like Shopify, using WordPress, WP Ultimo, WP Frontend Admin, and WooCommerce. You'll learn how to build a fully functional platform, where your users will purchase membership plans, to create and manage online stores easily. To manage their stores, your users won't have to use the normal WordPress dashboard, but will use a custom front-end dashboard for the entire network. They will view sales reports. Create and manage products. View and manage orders. View and manage customers. Set up payment gateways and taxes. Change their membership plans. Select custom domains for their sites. And everything related to their online store. The best part is that you don't need any programming knowledge. We'll guide you step by step to build your own e-commerce platform and start making money online. You can sign up to this free course by following the link in the description of this video. We've already configured the global settings for our front-end dashboard with WP Frontend Admin. In this lesson, we'll show you how to set up your front-end dashboard design. With WP Frontend Admin, you can build front-end dashboards using any page builder or any WordPress theme. However, in this course we'll be using one of our front-end dashboard templates for Elementor. You can download any of these templates to build your front-end dashboard. After downloading the front-end dashboard template, we need to import it into the front-end dashboard site. To open the site, let's go to the WP Ultimo Sites page. Now let's open the dashboard site. Once here, we need to create a new navigation menu called Dashboard, since our front-end dashboard templates automatically recognize it. For this, we need to change our WordPress theme, because the newest versions of the default WordPress themes don't use navigation menus. We'll activate the Cadence theme. Now let's create a new navigation menu called Dashboard. After that, let's move to the Save Templates section, and click on Import Templates. We need to locate the template on our computer and import it to our dashboard site. Once the template has been imported, we'll edit it with Elementor to apply some changes. Once in Elementor, we'll change the page layout to Elementor Canvas. As you see, the navigation menu has been automatically selected here. The template contains a site logo element that allows you to select a custom image, or automatically detect the logo from the customizer settings. The advantage of detecting it from the customizer settings is that you can change the site logo and all the pages using this template will be updated without you editing them manually. Therefore, we'll save the changes here, and then we'll open the customizer to select a site logo. Once done, we need to click on Publish to apply the changes. And if we reload the template, we can see that the logo is recognized automatically from the customizer settings. Now we're ready to start building our front-end dashboard pages, which we'll do in the next lesson.